Hi and you're very welcome. You're here with Anne Walsh of the Excel Expert and today we're going to look at specifically at how you would tell Excel to subtract or how to use minus in Excel. Okay. Now just we're just going to be, click up here and just a reminder to you that in another blog post I've told you how to multiply but a quick reminder here. Click where I want the answer to go. Equals. Click this here. Multiplied by. The symbol for multiply don't forget is the little star symbol or shift in 8. Click on 5. And then the final step is just to press enter. Now when I click on that, what I can do then is just copy that down and a quick way to copy it down is to bring your mouse over to the bottom right hand corner and then just double click on it. And this will copy down the entire formula. Now what we want to do here is we want to also give a, um, a discount. Alright, so I'm just going to enter a discount here, just also I suppose in terms of just a discount of 5%, so let me just put in 5% here. Okay, so I do that by going, we're going to calculate the discount first, just go equals this, multiplied by, and I'm just going to type in 5%. Now you can also type in 0 0.05 as well, but let's say I'm just going to type in 5% to make it simple. Click on that, and then just double click on the corner to copy it down. And the final thing then is we're going to create our net total, which is going to be our total minus our discount. And let me just click on that and make it bold. Click up here my bold. And again, as always, we begin by clicking where we want the answer to go. Equals the total minus, and the symbol we use for minus is our usual minus symbol. This one here. Press enter and then I just copy it down. Now just a reminder to you as well that I can also format these as numbers by going up here to my little number symbol up on the home tab. All right. And let's say I also want to make this as well. So let me just click over here. I like that last format as well. All right. So that's how we um, use the minus in Excel. And just a gentle reminder to you that if you haven't done so already, you can get some great shortcuts. Um, all you have to do is download them from, or just sign up for them here from the Excel Expert, which will be over on the right-hand side of your screen. And as always, this file will be available underneath this blog post for you to actually practice on. Take care. Goodbye, Sloan.